hey, uh, this myth next today, uh, we're uh, taking a look into an interesting effect. Uh, it's the Android uh, Ripple effect. It's, I think, first introduced in the Lillipop version. 5.1. If you have any uh, any questions about this uh, uh, this effect and uh, any problems, uh, please uh, f feel free to ask. And I'm going to be really quick and show you guys the actual ripple effect and actually what I'm talking about. So this is effect for the WPF uh, C sharp. And uh, as you can see, you have a button here, and uh, it, when you click, uh, you can see it creates a ripple. Uh, very interesting ripple and fades out in the same color so you can adjust both of the colors the background color and the ripple effect color it's uh, pretty late here because I'm recording but uh, but I'm going to show you step by step how you can implement that effect um, this here uh, this here uh, question on uh, stack overflow uh, so uh, got me thinking uh, like uh, for this effect uh, actually, not this question. Uh, actual, I when I downloaded uh, Lilypop uh, Android, I got to think through this effect, and uh, I found this question here. Uh, and there is a pretty cool answer uh, from uh, this guy Domi Z. So uh, this guy made a class for Ripple Effect the co uh, the the curator the curator. I know how to pronounce that. So. Um, what we uh, what what I made here is just a plain uh, WPF application. You can have whatever you want in here, and I'm going to show you step by step how you can implement that effect in any WPF application. Uh, now, um, uh, maybe you have problems with this effect, uh, so I'm going to show you how uh, you can uh, you can. Uh, uh, fix some problems. So uh, he made uh, this custom uh, control library uh, that includes a uh, few effects. Uh, I think six effects. But I'm going to show you how you can implement like just the class, just this effect, not the whole library. Now, l first, what you what uh, are we gonna close this? Uh, I mean, nice uh, for a second. And now, uh, what you can do first is you need to. Uh, to create the class for the ripple effect dec decorator so go uh, solution explorer go ahead and create a for uh, your project you just need to do this once and then for your project and uh, then you're gonna have the whole uh, the whole uh, you, you, you can use the ripple effect for the whole project so go ahead create a new class call it Ripple effect decorator decorator ripple effect decorator and add the class uh, and copy uh, what you can do is copy the whole class uh, or no uh, j just just copy the class all right just copy the class uh, uh, I they mentioned that uh, these links here that uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to put them in the description below. So go ahead and uh, open the first link out, and um, you're uh, gonna see this class. Just copy uh, the class here and replace the class ripple effect decorator with the new code. So at first you're gonna have all these errors, and you're gonna say what the uh, and uh, uh, what you need to click uh, in, on every error is click uh, right click and resolve and put using system that windows that controls for this here and you're gonna see this and this goes away but this doesn't go so right click resolve using windows system that windows so you're gonna click on every single uh, error here and resolve wait a little bit animation and the final resolve using system that windows that in so what you have in the namespace your application so here I I just named it uh, Android ripple effect I uh, will have a, a public class ripple effect that uh, actually is in the content control uh, and uh, 
this class uh, really it's like just uh, this is the most important part we're not going to look into the code but um, uh, you let me see uh, but you got the first step uh, up and running if you don't have any uh, errors uh, to here uh, it's uh, pretty uh, good now the next thing what you want to do is uh, go ahead and click on the second link the second link will pop up uh, this here uh, themes ripple effect decorator XML file and it's going to look like this so in the github you're gonna have uh, this here and it just copy the whole thing and what you can do is you can go uh, solution you need to go solution explorer and open up the uh, a, uh, application XML and paste just in this application dot resources paste it right here and you're gonna have some errors so what you're gonna do is you have the the most important error here the the only error that's going to show up it's here so in the namespace uh, what you use the namespace for uh, for the class for for your project copy the namespace and uh, for me it's android ripple effect and in the uh, application xml file uh, you can see this line xml ns uh, uh, L uh, clear namespace and you just uh, replace the custom control library namespace with your own namespace for me it's android ripple effect namespace and you can see uh, the uh, the error should now uh, these errors are nothing just uh, you need to build build the project so uh, th this is just one error and if uh, just a bit lag here saving no problem now the next thing is to actually create that object so I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that so open up in the main window XML in here what you need to do is to uh, to write this command which is going to be in the description XML NS custom equals and what you're gonna do here is going uh, to uh, just uh, clear namespace c all c all c l r namespace equals to wait i'm sorry for uh just android ripple effect i think it should your namespace and now let's try here so this here custom is your actual namespace android ripple effect uh, you're gonna change that to your namespace and now what you're gonna do is let me zoom in and you're gonna create this object custom is gonna pop up like this and you're gonna say ripple so uh, wait. Uh, oh it's a uh, it's it's like this it's not actually equal it's like this so you're gonna say custom ripple effect decorator you're gonna see that just I'm going to close that and here you're gonna put in here the height of the button so here is going to pop up like check the error list for more information and uh, don't worry just uh, 
just do it and then uh, it's going to be alright uh, with uh, height with for example we're gonna put a uh, height to a hundred and with 200 let me just we're gonna build this so it doesn't have any errors but we'll just write that and now a uh, content for example we're gonna put a ripple effect and uh, there's a uh, option that's gonna pop up like highlight background so you have a background and a highlight background so highlight background for example is red so the circle that is going to pop up is red but background you, you can see background you uh, maybe you can do like uh, light is there well for example eleven deer for example uh, let, let, let just say for example name does not exist so we're gonna build the project and as you can see as you can see it works so let me just change this eleven deer let me just change it to uh, to red uh, let me just change it to purple like this just just to so you have the button you can resize that you can put it whatever wherever you want and if you're asking uh, for example uh, you don't know how to put uh, the ripple effect in the center you can just do horizontal uh, content alignment to center and vertical vertical content alignment to center so it should the content alignment to center or oh, maybe you, you need to do it in a actual layer in, in the actual label I just copy this for now we have like this and let just see what it what it does so you have the actual ripple effect you see now if you have any problems with this I, sh I showed you how to do it uh, step by step and uh, do it uh, just uh, copy the class effect decorator not the actual the whole library if you want to uh, to copy the whole library from a uh, domain Z uh, uh, he does not have it actually uh, debugged so you need to open it up and debug it for yourself uh, actually release the, whatever you want to put here and uh, then copy the actual library uh, it, it, he doesn't have uh, it uh, compiled he doesn't have it compiled so um, yes this will, uh, will be it so I maybe you're asking uh, how uh, just uh, I want uh, I want maybe one more button so let's do a one more button let's now don't put content we're gonna put the content in the center of the button so the background color let's say the background color is blue or green let's say light green background color light green background color and the highlight color uh, the highlight background which is going to be actually the circle that the ripple effect uh, is green and now uh, the height and width of that button uh, so actually the margins itself let me just put it here and you can adjust so this is the button let's say Let's say I want this button right here. Let's say. And now I want a label in it that is going all. Uh, so you got here effects already done. You can actually import this effect. News. As you can see, you have the whole decorator done. The whole custom. Uh, ripple uh, effect decorator with the alignment and everything done. So I'm going to go to the tagbar. I'm uh, 
I'm looking for a label. So label. Uh, common with PF label. And now the label. I want the label at at the center. So what I'm saying vertical content alignment center and horizontal content alignment at center and then I want the content to be actually the label I want the label to be exactly as you can see and I want uh, hello world and maybe I want color uh, foreground foreground color at one to look very cool now I can compile and as as you can see it's as you can see we have a ripple effect you, you can play around uh, with the ripple effects options so uh, in, in your uh, application XML uh, you can see uh, it's laggy. The application is not so recently. Uh You can see here uh, your uh, your uh, your animation. So there's double animation. Uh, that's the width. So we're not interested here. We're interested in the uh, opacity. There's opacity animation and there's animation for yeah, for the width, and uh, you can play around with this begin time duration uh, from one to zero. So uh, let me see. For example, begin time. Let's say begin time uh, zero point five. And we're gonna see that it's going to fade uh, really quickly here. See, and uh, cool animations. Yeah, uh, you can play around with these options, and uh, that's that's for today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.